2 is the GoPro Hero 3 in the skeleton housing uh, built in mic. So, this is this, just the skeleton frame, I mean, not the skeleton housing, but the frame housing built with the built in mic. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. GoPro Hero 3 in the frame housing built in mic. 1, 2, 3, okay, this four, is five. test number 3. The GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver in the skeleton case. It's a housing with skeleton back that I have drilled holes in the case over the mic port as well as over the port where the USB plug is. So GoPro Hero 3, skeleton housing, skeleton back with holes drilled inside the case to make it pick up better audio. Test. One, two, three. Okay, this five. is test number four. This is the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver and the same skeleton housing uh, as test number three with uh, holes drilled in the housing. However, I've got the Movo or Moby uh, lapel mic plugged in, but I have it clamped up at the end of the pole there where the camera is mounted. So the the mic is the same distance away from me as the camera itself. It's clamped up on the pole next to the camera. So test one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is okay. This is the last test. This is I think test number five, maybe. Uh, anyway, same housing, GoPro Hero three plus, and the modified housing where I drill the holes in it. But I've got the Movo lapel mic plugged in. And I've got the cable run down, and the mic is actually uh, on the middle section of my trekking pole here. Um, so probably the mic's probably a foot up the pole from my hand. So this is a comparison of the audio uh, with the mic moved closer to me. It's not attached to me, but it's closer to me than it was up on the camera. So test one, two, three. Okay, this is the four. frame housing I was talking about. I did one sample recording when it was in the frame housing and this is is what this looks like it's just a plastic frame that goes around the outside of the camera gives you access to the ports if you need to but really doesn't give any real protection to the camera uh, the one I picked up came with this little lens cover that you can slip over the lens if you're going to use it um, just to keep it from getting scratched or whatever uh, then it also came with a little rubber uh, cap that you could put over the lens itself. You have to take that off and then you can put this rubber cap on it to kind of protect it when you have it stored. Uh, this one works okay. I'm just not real crazy about the fact that it doesn't really protect the camera very well. So I guess it'd probably be fine if you were only using this indoors, but uh, as far as me taking this on the trail, I probably won't because it's, uh, in my opinion, doesn't give a whole lot of protection. So that's my thoughts on the on the frame housing. All right, so these are the items I was using during that test. This is the mic that I've got that I picked up off of Amazon. It's a Movo, M-O-V-O, lapel mic. It comes with the adapter here, and then the lapel mic itself that plugs in. The adapter plugs into the camera on the side, same place you would plug in your USB for uh, charging or downloading your pictures or movies. Um, it's got about four feet of wire and then it's got the little lapel here with a clip um, and then this is the this is a housing this is not the original housing uh, you know the original waterproof housing is it comes with the Sierra, uh, hero 3 plus silver is this one here but this is one I picked up on eBay I think I paid like 12 bucks and I think it's the older style hero 3 housing so what I did is I drilled a hole there and then right here on top and those two are over the little three hole mic uh, areas on the camera itself and then I also drilled a hole here on the side I actually drilled it and then I had to open it up with my Dremel tool and this one lines up with the USB port so I can plug this mic in while it's in this housing and the whole reason I did that was it, you know, granted once I put all these holes in it and put the skeleton back on it, it's no longer waterproof, but at least protects the camera, keeps it from getting beat up 
if I were to drop it, um, you know, the camera itself is still protected. I just have to be conscious that um, it's not waterproof. So my plan is to, when I'm hiking and stuff, I'll keep it in this housing most of the time for for everything because the mic should pick up pretty good. I've got the option to plug in the lapel mic if I want, and then I'll probably, if it's going, especially if it's going to be a rainy weekend, I'll carry this one. Uh, may it's not that much, not that much weight, so I may carry it anyway, just to have the option of, of waterproofing the camera if I need to. But uh, probably will leave it in this housing for the majority of the time because the audio picks up better and gives me the option to plug this in. So I uh, hope that's helpful. If not, nah, so be it. But uh, just thought I might do that to show uh, some options as far as audio on the GoPro uh, while you're hiking. Thanks for watching.